Doha, Qatar, where the 2022 FIFA World Cup is taking place, I decided today to dive into the Qatar culture, see what food they have to offer and their most traditional dishes. I was shocked to see the diversity of the culture over here. I was told that the street foods in the market are elite. So let's go and check it out. It's Dr. Hobbs and right now I'm about to eat some Qatari street food. I'm super excited for this. As I've been telling you, we're at the souk. There's a bunch of like crazy stuff. I have two local people that are gonna take me around and show me everything because I don't know what to eat and what to do. But first and foremost, I'm gonna show you around. It's beautiful, it's nighttime because what this is when people go out. It's about 7 p.m. It's windy right now. This is why I'm wearing, you know, um, OVO rep and Drake and it's cold, you know, hoodie. Usually I'm seeing from my previous videos, I'm only wearing t-shirts. But let's go around, walk around. So walking around these parts, it's a bunch of Arabic places right now and um, they're telling me there's like some Turkish Moroccan Egyptian and all that Arabic stuff and as you see you know there's it's a little busy and a little loud look at the vibes you just that's what I'm talking about like the street food cafe been my dream I've seen this everywhere go viral on the internet I'm gonna show you what my dream is this Turkish guy this ice cream vibe right here here we go I'm getting some Turkish vibes let's see how he gonna do the whole thing yeah. well, what's it like? huh? uh, chocolate. Vanilla, vanilla. all right are you ready? I'm very ready. I've heard about some tricks. Okay, don't, don't go crazy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I grab it? Oh, no. <laughs> yo, yo, this is a violation. I will start one more. What? Oh, man. Shit. This is just matter. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> hey, yo. How much you need? That's the ice cream. The guy literally chucked it on my piece. You know what? It's all good. Mm. <laughs> a little gooey, but it costs 15 rials. 15 rials is equal to, I think, like six bucks. Mm. Not bad. You know, I would eat that ice cream vibe. Very, very sticky, as I've been saying. I need to eat actual food, actually, not ice cream. Look at the vibes. Balloons, more balloons. I probably need a balloon, you know, to fit in the vibe of everybody here. It's mostly parents with their kids, and I feel like I'm the kid here without my parents. I don't know where my parents are actually. There. All right, we're inside. I'm inside right now, this little thing. Um, hold on, a boy's buying one of those, just so I can, you know, fit in more. Yeah, yeah, that one. That, perfect. As you can see, the streets are very narrow. There's a bunch of like corners, bare, like you can see clothing and stuff. Yeah, that one, that one. How much is this? It's only 15. 15 only? Okay. All right, you see the food. There's a bare food over here. It just, this is literally the most authentic street food. It's called Dirwani. Macaroni, is it macaroni and cheese? It's macaroni. Can I open it? Macaroni. Okay, great macaroni. I'm gonna, uh, that chicken wings. I don't know what that is. There's some balls over there. This is the macaroni. Oh yeah, macaroni and cheese. That's, that's what it is. All right, these potatoes. They're not potatoes. Sweet potatoes? No, it's a, it's like a baked. Um, baked? It's almost like a donut. A donut. Okay. Yeah, it like sticky. It's so good. It looks beautiful. So I'm trying this potato sweet balls. Okay, actually I don't know why I have this. Here we go. Let me see what it is. Like, it's sweet as hell. It's sticky. Mm. That's the inside of it. Whoa, what the hell? That's actually crazy. Mm. Mm -mm. It's too good, I want to eat the whole thing, but it's too heavy, right? It's heavy as hell. I love eating balls. What? Mm. Love it. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Just some omelette type thing. Sorry, what is this? Just eggs. Just eggs. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Some garlic on top. Sure. Those were not mine, I just found somebody else's food. The boy's trying to, you know, um, save your money. Not say, trying to save. All right, here we go, the bird market. I heard it's a little, um, not too pleasant, but I'm gonna film and show you guys what's going over here. The little bird. Do they not fly away? 
Hey, he doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, he's there. Look at my boy just eating his peanuts. Yo, come back here, Robert. Bro, how is this dude sitting here not flying away? You can go, you know? Go, buddy. Go, be free. Okay, he just really wants to stay. I think I'm somewhere I should not be, but, um, bro. How was these guys sitting here? Look at those guys. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. I'm going out. I'm going out. Cats. God. Look at those guys. Hey, you want out of here? You want out of here? Sorry? How much for this guy? 6,000. 6,000? Hey, yo, yo, stop this. Yeah, you like the camera? You like the camera? You just want to get the hell out of here? Or you like the camera? What is it? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Damn. You're so beautiful, oh my god, I would take you with me right now. Oh, your buddy wants it. Hey, hey, as I was showing you with the animals and all that stuff, this stuff happens here every other day. A lot of merchants, they just trade things, and the streets are super narrow where I'm walking right now. Very extremely narrow. As you can see, both walls are right there. Um, all I'm trying to find is the food. I don't know why they keep taking me to see animals. I don't want to see this stuff, it just makes me very sad, but... We're back to the market and right now I see slippers. I found myself some nice Gucci slides. I might cop those for 35 um, bucks. What else do they have? They have some Yeezys over here. Look at the vibe, some cool Yeezys. I would definitely buy those. Look at this Gucci vibes. Gucci gang at the market right here. I literally got finessed into sitting here in this Qatari spot. That, that's the spot right here. Showing the kitchen quick. I don't know what's gonna go on over here, but um. Sorry, so what's the food over here? Yeah, Qatari traditional food. Qatari, Qatari traditional? Yeah. What is Qatari yeah. traditional? There's a menu and everything? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. People that brought me here don't even know what the food is all about, which is fine. We're gonna figure it out a lot together. Local food. Local food. I recommend. You recommend? I bring one mixed item, no more. What's one what? small, Aris, Madruba. No, we're, no not, we're, we're not hungry. We're just like one, no, one, one thing. One tala, small tala. Yeah. Five item, little, little, little. No more. No more. Okay. All right, beautiful. Okay, one mixed. I don't know. We probably might have gotten something, I have no idea what it is. Okay, so just let me show you the my surrounding. This is the table. Very fancy, you know, very, very fancy. That's what we get when you talk about street food. Because the literal definition of it is traditional Qatari food. And I don't know what it is. No one really knows what it is that are you guys watching me. You guys probably have no idea what it is. All right, here's the food. Okay, boss, Um, you said there's one plate. What is that? Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. All of this? One. Can you explain to me what? Yeah, yeah, explain to me what's going on. Madruba, Aris. Aris, okay. Madruba. Madruba. Marguga. Okay. Machibos. Okay. Mac, na, balalis. Yeah. Nakhi. Okay. Aris. And uh, mac and cheese. Uh, macrona. Macrona. Yeah. All I know is mac and cheese. Here we go. We're gonna try it out and check the vibe. This literally looks like hummus. I don't know if it's hummus. I'm gonna put it to the test. I have some rice. Rice. Tastes like rice. Alright, here we go. Let's write this vibe. Ooh! It's pretty good. I have no idea what it is. It's just really good. Mostly of uh, lentil. There's some macaroni, I think. This is sweet. It's good though. Let's go back to mac and cheese. Oh, this, I know what that is. Really good mac and cheese. I love that. Let's spray this as hummus. Oh my god. All right, here we go. It's the textures of hummus. Oh. It's definitely not hummus though. It's definitely not hummus. I don't know what they gave me. I'm gonna go back to this. Ooh. Nothing smells like nothing. Like I can't smell anything. The last one right here. This is what hummus is made of. That's literally what hummus is made of. So. Mm. It's good. My favorite thing is this right here. <laughs> the mac and cheese. <laughs> Literally, that's amazing. And the rice. You know? So it goes back to me. One, two, and then three. This was really good. Four, and then the rest. Uh, the, this, this, and this. I can give it out. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Yeah, it tastes like baby food. Like, Also, I'm sorry if you couldn't really hear me too much because of the wind. Because it's the first time in forever that Qatar's wind decided to go up when they knew I was filming. This is, you know. It is chicken. Alright, I'm going to take a bite of this. I'm going to try this piece of chicken. Here we go. Some Qatari street food chicken. Mm, no, that's good. That is really good. If any of you guys know that watch my video, what's the stuff that I just ate? Comment down below. Banger. Part number two, I'm at some Egyptian cafe kind of grab-and-go place. And um, that's their menu over here. 
um, thing right here. This is what I'm looking at. I don't know if it's a typo or it's supposed to be here. Why does that say camel kefta sandwich? I don't know if it's actually a camel or like what goes with it. But I'm gonna get it. We're gonna get a camel kefta sandwich and try it out. I'm just browsing the menu. There's something called stuffed or grilled pigeon. That would be Ryan Swayze's dream to eat that. First dish is a fattoush, it's a Lebanese salad. The bread here is actually amazing. I'm gonna go show you how they do it. Hey, how are you? You good? That's the bread right here. Look at my man putting in one. Can I show you how you do it? Okay. Look at the bread. Look at this. It's like a little igloo. Ella, for you. For me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here you go. Look at this. Let's put it there. Jeez. This slaps it inside. That looks sick. Thank you. Thank you for this. I got a bread. I got a free bread. This is the camel. My camel kafta. Have this. It's some traditional food as well, but more fancier than the other restaurant. This right here, I can't tell you what it is, but it has some beef in it. I'm going to taste it and tell you. This is the falafel vibes. They do them like bagels in here. I don't know why. And this is camel kafta. Who thought that your boy one day is going to be eating camel kafta? We're going to put it in the test right now. I'm stressed, but here we go. I'm actually very stressed about this. It smells like kafta, to be honest. I don't know. It's, it's like the regular kafta in Lebanon we eat. Here we go. Camel. Mm. It's very moist and like gooey. I don't know how to explain it. It tastes like regular kafta to me. My french fries. Mm. It's falafel now. I'm over this camel stuff. Here we go. Mm. Oh, this is insane. This little ball. This is amazing. Oh my god. I haven't had falafel in a very, very long time. Mm. Pull off here the vibe. We have this that I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take a bite right now. Oh, this is delicious. This is some um, ground beef with some patties, like some Jamaican vibes. This is what reminds me of. That's a 10 out of 10. So far, so good. Your boy's so full. I can't even move right now. I can't even walk. But I ate everything. The last thing I'm having is this kenefe. It's some sweet. I've had it in Lebanon. You guys seen it in the vlog, but we're gonna have some. And then I'm getting the hell out of here. Yo, the Kenefe store. Oh, my, what is that? That looks amazing. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Oh. He's flexing on me right now. Look at this guy. Jeez. I need to try to do that. I need to try to flip it. That's the Kenefe vibes. All right. I've had it in a bun. I've never had it like this. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to cut this thing. Here we go. The wind is crazy. This is a 10 out of 10. The best thing I've ever had. The wind is actually making my kanafe fly. I literally can't stop eating this. The best thing I've ever had. This kanafe is... The highlight in this whole video is this kanafe. I promise you. 10 out of 10. This spot's called... Dr. Hobbs, go subscribe. Booster juice. More Qatari tradition vibes. I'm excited to see what we're gonna have. It's some avocado. With some coconut and um, milk or juice or something I'm gonna try right now we're gonna see how it goes how it tastes we create happiness just like me here we go here we go mm. they do actually create happiness this is making me very happy you see the fat smile on my face I'm very excited that this is amazing mm -hmm. Mm, very sweet very good mm. Mm -hmm. 15 we are equivalent of like five bucks you know it's really good. And with that being said, this is all for today's video. Eating street foods in Qatar, the night vibes, how they do it over here. We started, you know, with the Qatari most traditional food and we ended it with some very nice juices. This is all for today. Tam, I'm gonna go do some in the desert where I stay in the desert or something around the desert here in Qatar, which is gonna be a vibe. And if you have any suggestion, let me know down in the comments. This is all for tonight. I love you guys always. Turning here is my Vaders. I will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.